Good afternoon everyone, this is Bremster and today I'm coming to you with the final puzzle in the second set of the Sudoku U series and once again we've stolen the notes from the lecturers. Yep, this is another puzzle by Full Deck and missing a few cards. Don't know if they're planning on always sending in the fifth puzzle being one of their own, but that's completely up to them. So this is Beaker on a Slow Burner, um, which is a slow thermo puzzle. Um, I've played a bit with slow thermos. I actually set a slow thermo puzzle about a month ago, and I really liked it. Um, I don't know if I've released it or I sent it through. It was created for something, and I'm not sure if I sent it through or not, but that's beside the point. Um, I, I like creating puzzles as well as solving them, and... Um, yeah, I, I, it's one of the things that I think is good about the channels like myself and Ranksk. And one of the reasons I love the fact that Sudoku U is a thing, which is full deck and missing a few cards, having a puzzles and paradoxes class where they are teaching um, students how to use logic in just everything, um, particularly about mathematics. But um, honestly, Problem solving is something is a skill that you want in your job. I use it all the time in my job in IT, um, and it is a, just an incredibly valuable skill. And the fact that universities, some universities, are actually focusing on that, I think, is just incredibly valuable. Um, it also means that I get good puzzles. So anyway, let's have a look at Beaker on a slow burner because you don't want to touch that without protective gear. I'm wearing my safety glasses um, by full deck and missing a few cards. Let's have a look at the rules. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So every box, every row and every column must at the end of the puzzle have the digits one to nine in each of those without repetition. I just changed my wording for no adequately explained reason, except I'm tired and unwell. Um, Anyway, I think you know what I mean. Anyway, we've got slow thermos. And what slow thermos mean is that along thermometers, digits may stay, basically digits must increase along the thermometers, but they could also stay the same. So this digit must be higher than this because digits cannot repeat in the column. But these two digits could be the same digit because um, they don't see each other by Sudoku. And as long as this digit is not lower than this, we are fine. So as long as going from the bulb to the tip of the thermo, digits do not go down. So um, we are fine. So digits must either increase or stay the same as you go along a thermo. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. And this is a beaker. This is a very, very long thermo. So let's have a look. This has a maximum of nine. This also has a maximum of nine. This couldn't be nine or this couldn't be nine. So this has a maximum of eight. So this has a maximum of eight. This has a maximum of seven because it sees both of those. So this has a maximum of seven. This has a maximum of six. So this has a maximum of six. This has a maximum of five. This has a maximum of four because I have to go down and this sees this, I have to go down, this sees this. So this has a maximum of four. This has a maximum of three because it has to be lower, but it can't be four. It can't stay the same because it sees that cell. This could be three. This could only be two because it has to be lower or equal to that. And it can't be equal because they're in the same column. This could be two. This therefore ends up being one and one and the entire thermo is forced. I figured something like that might happen, but I wanted to prove it as I was going along. Um, that is a very nice break in to a slow thermo and teaches the concepts of slow thermo incredibly well. So we now know that one is in one of those three cells. We know nine is in one of those two because I can't put it at the start of a thermo. Why did I pencil mark three? Um, my fingers are definitely not doing what I want them to today. This is a quadruple. This is a one, two, can't do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine quadruple. I can't put eight or nine at the start of a thermo that all sees itself. This is basically a normal thermo. This has a maximum of eight because it can't be nine. This has a maximum of seven. This has a maximum of six. This has a maximum of five. Um, so this can't be, this could be two. It can't be three. It could be four. It can't. Oh no, it can't be five. This doesn't have a maximum of five. This is two or four because it can't be five. Um, this has to be, oh, and it can't be two. So this is four. This can't be five, so it's six. This has to be higher than six, so it's seven. This is eight. 
and this is one or two. That's very cool. One is now in one of those two because it can't be in those. Three is in one of those two and it can't be there. So this is the three, this is the one. These are now one, two, three, four, five, six, no. There's no one. What am I doing? There is no, no one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are five and nine, which takes nine out of those. Nine is in one of those two. Oh, one and two comes out of there. That's the eight, and eight comes out of those two. This is one, two, nine. I can kind of keep a three digit in my head. There's no one there. So one is in one of those two, but I can keep a three digit in my head. I just said that. Um, I'm about to prove that I can't. I'm almost certain of that. Um, so this is a triple in this column. One, two, three, four. Oh, the nine looks down. That's the two, which means this is the one and this is the nine. And now I've just got pairs in the column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a four, five pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a two, three pair. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. These are six and seven. That's cool. I mean, these thermos are going to have to do something, but I was going to try and get as much in the central stack as I could. And the reason I say stack is um, there is a concept in Sudoku of grouping boxes together. So horizontally, that is a band and that's the top band. This, the green one here is the middle band. Um, and the blue one here is the, um, is the bottom band. Um, and if I was to rotate that, which I will now do, um, this is the left stack or the first stack. This is a stack because they're stacked on top of each other, a bit like a Jenga tower. And this is the right stack. So you can group boxes. So um, it's just a terminology that is used. So if someone turns around and says, there's something going on in the right hand stack, they're talking about boxes uh, three, six, and nine. It's just an interesting way of being able to delineate a region of a Sudoku. Um, so where am I looking now? We know two is in one of these cells by Sudoku, but if I put two here, this would have to be one and then this would have to be zero because they see each other. That's not going to work. So this is a two. Um, now this thermo, because of all of this, is almost certainly restricted because this could be a nine. This can't be eight, seven. It could be six. This Actually, it could also be nine. So this could be nine. So I forgot slow thermo. So this now can't be eight, seven. It can't be six. This has a maximum of five. This now has a maximum of four. This has a maximum of four. This has a maximum of three because it has to be lower than four. And now this has to be the one. So this is three because it can't be two. This C has to be a maximum of four and it sees one, two, three, so it is four. This now has a maximum of four, so it is four. This has a maximum of five, so it is five. And this is either six or nine. And this has to be higher than six or, or six. So it's six, seven, eight, or nine. And it's not seven because it sees seven. Oh, it's not six either. So this is eight or nine. But this is six or nine. One is in one of those two, which means one is over here by Sudoku, but I can't put one this far along a thermo because then this could be one, but those would have to be lower than it. So that's not the one. This is the one. And now this thermo will always had to start with at least a two. So two, I mean, I could work the other way now. So minimum two, min, I don't like working with minimums. Maximum nine, maximum nine, can't be eight, so maximum seven, maximum six, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four. So two, three, four, can't be three, so four, five, five, six, five, six. This can't be, has to be higher than five, so this is just seven. This is eight, nine, whoops, eight, nine, and this is eight, nine. There's a four, five pair in this row. Oh, the three looks back making that two and that three, which means this is not three. This is a maximum of three now, because it sees four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. 
So this is a maximum of three. So this is a maximum of two. So this is one, two, and two, three. We know one is in one of those cells because the one here is looking down and this one is looking across. So one is in one of those two. So that's not the one and that's the one. This triple is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, six, and nine. Well, there's no three there. So that's a six, nine pair. That becomes the three, which means there's, oh no, I, that, I always had, there's already a three in this box. Probably could have got that by Sudoku, but I didn't. This is five, six, eight, or nine, but I think there's a problem there. It means eight is in one of those two. If that's an eight, both of those are nine, which would normally be a problem, but isn't on a slow thermo. So I can't use the fact that this, yeah, this, normally I would say, well, this is eight, nine, so this can't be eight or nine, but that is absolutely not true here. Got to put a four in one of those two. Oh, it's not there by Sudoku, so that's a four. This is five, six, eight, or nine. Four is absolutely on this thermo. Is it this? Because this sees one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is seven, eight, or nine. But having a high digit at the end of a thermo doesn't do much. And of course, I'm now terrified I've got something completely wrong with the um, slow thermo somewhere. Two up here, no. I've already got three, four. Six is in one of those. Eight is in one of those. So eight is in one of those two. This is an eight, nine pair. So six is in one of those two. Because this quadruple, two, four, well, four is in one of those two. Where's four in this row? It's not here because, right, four is in one of those two and that four looks down. So that's the four. There's now a triple in this column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are two, three, five. There's no three up here. This is a two, five pair. This is the three, which doesn't change that at all. But this is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And there's no eight at the bottom. But the six, seven, eight looks down, making that nine, which makes that nine, which makes that six. The six looks across, making that five, which makes that nine, which makes that five. There's nothing lower than five, so that becomes five, that becomes four, that becomes two. The two looks across, making that five and that two. The five looks across, making that four and that five. The five looks down, taking five out of there. The nine looks across, taking nine out of those. This becomes eight. This becomes six. Now, this still could be eight or nine, ah, except it can't be nine. So this is eight. This box is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just missing nine, which looks up, taking nine out of there. So that becomes the nine. Three is in one of those two by Sudoku because of these threes, but that three says not there, so that's a three. This is a triple, six, seven, and eight. There's an eight there. There's an eight there, no eight there. So, sorry, eight and eight mean those aren't eights, so that's your eight, and this is a six, seven pair, looking across making that the eight. Six, seven pairs everywhere, but they will resolve. The eight looks down, taking eight out of there. The nine looks down, making that a seven which looks up making that a six, which makes that a seven, which makes that a six, which makes that a seven. Wrong mode again. Which looks across making that a six and that a seven. This now is not the six, this is the six. And this column is missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's your five. One, this row is missing a two, which means this is a one, this is not the one. Now in here, I need to put a one in one of those two, but it's not in row nine because of that. So there's your one. This is a triple, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, and nine. Nine is not lower than seven. 
three looks down making that the two. So I take two out of those, I'll use that nine to make that the three and that the nine. Could I have got there another way? Almost certainly, but this is the way I did it. I've only got three digits left. This is an eight by pencil marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'll use that five to make that the seven and that the five. 12 minutes, 24. Okay, maybe we didn't need to steal the lecturer's notes. Maybe the exam at the end of this semester is actually going to be quite easy. Thank you, Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards. That was a really nice introduction to slow thermos. Don't see slow thermos very often, which is a shame because they are stunningly fun when done well. And this was a really good intro puzzle for them. Thanks very much. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for the everything you do for the community. And thank you to your students and everything for submitting the puzzles. I hope you enjoyed this visit to Sudoku U um, and you found these five puzzles absolutely fun. I did. Um, Yes, I've recorded them all in one big long session because while I'm unwell, um, I'm also coming up for a period where I'm going to have to step away from my computer for a couple of weeks. So I'm frantically recording to try and get um, puzzles uh, ready in advance so that I can step away and the channel will still run without me. Thank you everyone for watching and as always, good luck with your solving.